Hello everyone, if you are new around here, I am Trevor and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Welcome. And if you're not new and you're returning, well, welcome back. Today we are in Dublin, Ireland. We are going to be tasting some Irish food. What a better way to start out than having some traditional Irish breakfast. Let's go. So our food has arrived. It's a full Irish breakfast. Let's show you what's on the plate. We have some beans, sausage. I think they said that's a potato, tomato, mushrooms, some eggs, black pudding, white pudding. I think there's more potato there and bacon. Okay, Anna is uh, going for the sausage first. It looks like it's cooked to perfection. I always love breakfast sausage. Let's see <laughs> if this is as good. Good breakfast sausage. It looks like the kind that's crispy on the outside and maybe a bit goo like gooey on the inside. A little bit, it's not that crispy actually. It looks crispier than it is. Just going for some beans. These these look really good. I don't normally eat beans for breakfast. I never think of it. <laughs> They're really good though. They're in kind of a light tomatoey sauce. Definitely yummy. I approve. So I'm going into the black pudding now and I've uh, I've never tried this, so It's good. It's a hard one to describe though. It's um, it's very mushy. There's definitely oats in there. Maybe some cereal. I think it used to have before. It might be like made up of some pork blood or something like some, that. Or like, yeah, pork, pork blood, pork yeah. liver. I mean, various weird. That things. doesn't make it sound that appealing. But I can't taste it. I don't exactly know what just straight up pork blood tastes like either. But <laughs> oh, overall, this is really good. It's tasty. I like it. I wonder if the white pudding is going to be the same. Let me try that. Let's see if I can get a look at it. It kind of looks like a little croquette or something. Yeah, can you see that? The texture looks a little different. Oh. Mmm. This is totally different. It actually tastes like tastes like um like dressing or stuffing. You'll mm, like this one. Yeah. I don't know if it's made up of the exact same thing. Someone let us know in the comments because we're not quite sure. But this to me, um, like when you're having turkey dinner, this tastes like uh, stuffing or dressing. This is good. Just trying to get some bacon. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it looks like a good one. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's nice and it's greasy, but a good kind. But now I don't know if this is um, back bacon per se, but uh, in Canada it would be very much like back bacon. It almost tastes just a little bit like ham, but there's still that bacony goodness going on. Uh, it's not crispy at all. Usually I like my bacon crispy. This is not. I'm just gonna break open this egg here and get some of this yolk. This looks like a, um, you know, the eggs we we would be used to. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Did you get some bread there? Can't beat like, no, it's like the perfect kind of yolk. So we got some bread here as well. And I'm not sure if it's the traditional kind though, but I'm gonna dip it yeah, in Yeah, so I was reading that it traditionally comes with a soda bread. I'm not sure if that's what this is, but it looks like regular bread to me. Mm. Oh yeah. I mean, I think it's regular bread, but with that yolk, it's so good. What is it about bread? An, An egg, egg yolk. yolk. I know. The best. Mm. The black pudding scares me a little bit. Uh, I'm not gonna try that, but the white one. Totally. Oh, it's real good. Mm, it kind of looks like bread. It kind of looks like sausage. I can't really tell. I wonder if it has both in it. It tastes like stuffing. Mm. <laughs> so good. Isn't that it good? It totally tastes like Christmas stuff. <laughs> it does, yeah. Why don't we um, try this guy? This thing. It looks like a potato croquette, maybe? Yeah, it does look like a potato croquette. Got some cheese in there, I see. Oh, look at the cheese come. Oh, that looks good. It's just kind of oozing out of there. Mm. Exactly what it looks like. It's crispy on the outside. Maybe it was deep fried. Got some cheese and potato inside. Really good. We are so glad we only got one of these meals. We have a lot more to eat today, guys, but now, well, we're gonna have to finish this up and get going. That was really good. I'm glad we shared it because now I'm not too full and it was a big plate. Next up is something called boxty. 
Not overly sure what it is, but we'll find out in a second. All right, we're at the restaurant. The box tea has come. We found out what it is. It's basically a potato pancake. That our waiter said to think of it like a, a quesadilla, but an Irish version. I think it looks more like a crepe. There's a bunch of different versions, but we got one with chicken, with leeks, and bacon. It looks really good, and um, you know, I don't think of this as Irish, but it smells, I, I can smell that cream sauce. It smells so savory. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna, just gonna cut right into this. Oh yeah, look. Mm. We got big chunks of chicken. So chicken. just pull this back a bit so we can see inside. Oh, look at that, wow. Yeah, I see some chicken in there. It looks nice and gooey. It looks really good. It's pretty colorful as well, I have to say. So first off, I'd say it's a little thicker than a crepe, so more pancake-like for sure. Mmm, it's a big old messy bite. It's good. It tastes a lot like it smells. I wish you guys could smell it because it smells delicious. I'd say the pancake itself, uh, a lot more savory than a pancake, so you don't get that sweetness out of it, but it's definitely soft and light and fluffy, but not too thick. Mm. That is lovely. Wow. Like, totally unexpected. When you look at this, I didn't expect it to taste like this. It's hearty, really good in cold weather. Creamy. Yeah, yeah. creamy, very creamy. Mm -hmm. Chicken's tender. Um, it's just overall, guys, it's a really, really solid dish. So unexpectedly good, but next up, the Irish food tour continues. I think we might take a little bit of a break, but then we're gonna look for some Irish stew. Irish stew. I'm excited for Irish stew. All right, guys, the food has showed up. I got the traditional Irish stew, and it looks, oh, it looks so delightful. Then there are these potatoes. I like uh, I like the presentation of these, actually. Um, Anna's got the same presentation, and what, what is that? So it looks exactly the same, but it's not. It's actually called caudal, which in, when you read about it, it sounds like it's kind of like the stuff, the leftovers that someone threw together. But it's mainly like potatoes, carrots, some different veggies, uh, pork sausage, and bacon. She's going into this. Got a little bit of pork sausage there, some veggies. It looks good. It looks like you got a bit of everything. Mm. It kind of reminds me of vegetable soup. So it's got like a light broth. Not too, not too flavorful, but nicely flavorful. Like it may probably have some parsley in there. It's salted nicely. The pork I hardly even notice. It's just really, really light. And then the veggies are just great. Like it totally is a veggie soup. If you were sick, it's probably perfect. I'm just gonna try out these potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Yeah, there's some green onions in there too. Are they good? Perfect. It's like salt and pepper. It's perfectly mashed. It's not mushy or like or lumpy or mushy. It's perfect. Yeah, they look like uh, turkey dinner potatoes. It is. It's actually like I have. I feel like I have like leftover turkey dinner, although it's with pork and then mashed potatoes. I think the only thing we need there is some gravy. Yes. <laughs> this looks like a good portion. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, the flavor going on in there. So, I took a little taste of Anna's just to see the difference. The broth in yours is very different than this. Mm -hmm. This is so savory. That meat just melts in your mouth. The vegetables are really good. There's some carrots in there and some celery and some onions. The whole thing goes together very well. The theme of this video so far, we've been saying turkey dinner. It has that comfort level. It's very comforting. So far, Irish food, it's been delicious. We're really loving it. Guys, there's this uh, red light over here. That's why I look so red. Anyone's wondering why. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, whoa, I'm so red. But Anna's starting to now like get a little creative. Yeah, I think we should. Uh, I think I don't she. Know if this is how it's intended, but I'm dipping those well, potatoes. Well, yeah, potatoes in are in there. She's dipping, dipping it into um, my broth. Oh, that was totally different. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like some. It's almost like gravy. But you know what it you should try? Gravy. I think you should try the bread in there. I wonder how that would be. Which one should I try? It in yours or mine? No, mine. Just gonna try the, uh, yeah, dip that bread. There you go. Mm, it's good, right? Yeah, I wonder, I think this is the way you're supposed to eat it. Like, you just mix it all up a little bit. I don't know. It's like some intense brown bread. It's really good. Yeah, this whole thing so far, today has been pretty epic. It has been. Wow. 
What a day that was. The food here has impressed us so much. It was really good. I was surprised. Very, very hearty, but definitely yep. delicious. Yes. Guys, now, um, we're a little blown away by the food in this city, so in our next video, we're gonna be exploring Dublin a little more, I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so uh, we can't wait to get lost in the city in next week's video, and if you haven't uh, seen the last video yet, well, we were hanging out in... Bratislava, Slovakia. Yeah, so totally different environment. Make sure to go check that out. We got up, we had a lot of fun in that city. We it did. was It was a beautiful was city. So, Gorgeous. So great. All right, guys, that's it. From Dublin, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.